Um, most people don't know this, but there's a brain structure called the anterior mid cingulate cortex. As we pointed out before, that's a noun, it's a name, it doesn't mean anything. Right. We could call it the, the cookie monster. Right. But what's interesting about this brain area is there are now a lot of data mm -hmm. in humans, not some mouse study, showing that when people do something they don't want to do, mm -hmm. like add three hours of exercise per day or per week, or when people who are trying to diet and lose weight resist eating something. Right. When people do anything that they, and this is the important part, that they don't want to do. Right. It's not about adding more work. It's about adding more work that you don't want to do. Yes. This brain area gets bigger. Yep. Now, here's what's especially interesting about this brain area to me. And by the way, I'm only learning this recently mm -hmm. because it's new data, but there's a lot of it. The anterior mid cingulate cortex is smaller in obese people. Mm -hmm. It gets bigger when they diet. Mm -hmm. It's larger in athletes. Mm -hmm. It's especially large or grows larger in people that see themselves as challenged and overcome some challenge. Right. And in people that live a very long time, mm -hmm. this area keeps its size. Mm -hmm. In many ways, scientists are starting to think of the anterior mid cingulate cortex not just as one of the seats of willpower, right. but perhaps actually the seat of the will to live. See, now we're talking. And when I learned about the anterior mid cingulate cortex, I was like almost out of my seat. And I've been in the neuroscience game since I was 20. We're, we're the same talking. age. And I was so pumped because I've heard of the amygdala, fear, prefrontal cortex, it's planning and action. I can tell you every brain area and every, I teach neuroanatomy to medical students. But when I started seeing the data on the anterior mid cingulate cortex, I was like, whoa, this is interesting. Yep. 